What's going on everybody? We're here with another Diecast video. In today's Diecast video, we're going to be doing Chase Elliott's 2020 Charlotte Roval. Car looks super sweet. You can see the build up, man. That car looks good. You got Chase Elliott, you got Hendrick Motorsports, ages four and up, barcode, NASCAR on top, warning, sticker, action, and on the side you got Chase Elliott, number nine. Napa Charlotte win 2020 Camaro ZL1 limited edition and on the back you got ages four up action racing collectibles action racing collectibles still the choice of champions you got trademarks underneath man I can't wait to actually open this up I'm not going to keep keep prolonging this too long but we're going to go over the stats here so I can go ahead and open it up so the stats of it was from October 11th 2020 Charlotte Roval 2020 of course Time was 3 hours, 17 minutes, and 11 seconds. Started second. Total laps was 109 for 252.88 miles. Cautions was 9 for 16 laps. Laps led was 27. Margin of victory was 3.895 seconds. So that was the stats of this race. So now let's actually open it up and take a closer look at it. We actually got that bad boy opened up. So now let's take a closer look look at it you got the number nine you got napa auto parts ethanol ring unity first mountain dew hooters of course you got the era for the jack stand you got goodyear nascar cup series playoffs chase elliott on the name rail two winner stickers kelly blue book and of course vaveline and you got 3m sunoco on the front you can actually see some build up there that looks good man this car is not bad looking look at all that build up going down the side that looks so good you can see the uh damage from the burnout that looks so good but you don't have no fuel spillage just notice that you don't really have any of that on there but you have nascar auto care there you have or nascar i always say it with napa i don't know why i always say it but it's napa auto care you got vaveline you got z01 you got camara you got the nine you got the Chevy symbol. Of course, you got Napa Auto parts there with Elliott on the back window. And like on this side, you just see the dirtiness from this. That looks so good. You can see the gear shift, steering wheel seat, black interior. You got Napa Auto parts there with Hooters and Mountain Dew. Unity first. And you got Chase Elliott on the name rail, which kind of wish they would make that go down a little bit. Kind of like circleize that a little bit to go down just my opinion one little flaw there just my opinion on it you got the nascar cup series playoffs there you could just see that build up that looks good even on the right side you have the build up there you got 3m snow code 9 you got the chevy symbol in the front with zl1 you got napa you don't have really much build up on the hood as much as the sides you got the Chevy symbol with playoff with another Chevy symbol. You can see the dash. Of course, you got some build up right there. Actually, on top of the car with the nine, you got roof flaps. Of course, NASCAR NASCAR 164s don't open, unfortunately. You got Napa know how. Napa know how. If I can talk right now, but you can see the build up right there in front of the nine, and actually the whole top of the car has a lot of build up. That's crazy. That's the first time I've seen that much build up on top of the car, but it does look good. You got underneath the car, all four tires do roll. All four do roll. Looks good. Now, you can just take a closer look at build up. Looks super sweet. It's not a damage, too much damage car. It's more just of a dirty car which looks fun i'm trying to get that to zoom in on that back it got an air bubble there right there with the middle you can see but you just see how dirty this car actually is that looks really good i like it I like it I like it I like it a lot you see the front of the car has a little bit there some there some actually some damage there with where the hendrick is it doesn't have anything on the spoiler, but you can just see how dirty the spoiler is. 
Now, surprisingly, as dirty as this car really is, there is no buildup really on that hood. So weird, but that Napa's literally off key there a little bit. And you can see the build up on top that looks really good. So overall, the car looks good. Love the paint scheme. Paint scheme looks really good. I'm trying to find the box because I forgot to put the box out. I always set the car on the box when I'm done. But overall, the car looks good. Glad I bought it. I do like the paint scheme. I mean, it's the same pretty much paint scheme as Napa. It's always a little bit of yellow. Wish there was more yellow instead of white and blue. Wish there was a little bit more. But overall, the car does look really good. Definitely one I'm going to keep in my collection. So if you want to see more of these diecast reviews, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. In the comment section below, let me know if you have this one. Or if I missed anything that the 124 had that the 164 doesn't. i like to kind of know that about that. Or if I missed something and didn't say the damage or something that y'all seen that I didn't. Leave in the comment section below and I will see you again with another diecast review. Hope everybody's enjoying their day.